Hello, my peepers. Welcome to Shalene's Creativity Room. It is floss tube number 121. Yes, it's June. I'm two days late. I'm sorry. The first was Saturday. I was gone all day with my mom and my sister. We went to a winery and we had wine and we got to hold a baby kangaroo and we got to pet other kangaroos. There was a couple other animals, some tortoises, so yeah, we were gone most of the day, and then I was tired yesterday from being gone all day Saturday, so we're a couple days late, but let's get started. So, I have two finishes, one was finished in May, one was finished on in the evening of June 1st, so we do have one finish for this month already so let's get started okay you guys ready for the finishes yeah so my first finish that was in June did I just have one finish in June hmm let me s or May I mean did I just have one in May Yeah, I just hit one finish in May, and this is S is for Stitcher, and I started this, I think it said February 6th of 2010, 2013, 2010, 2010, February 6th, 2010, this is on 28 count Monaco. DMC 2 over 2 and it came from this magazine here cross country stitching June 2008 so yeah um, and my goal was to finish it last month so yeah I had to do the whole bottom half I think or a quarter of it I think a quarter of it But yeah, it's done. I like it. I like it. I like it. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's done. And then Saturday night at like 11.30 p.m., I finished Rosie. I did. She is done. I need to soak this to get the lines out. I'm hoping none of this red will um, bleed because I will really cry if it does. But yeah. Does anybody know if this comes off with an iron? Probably not. It pro I know it says to soak it in boiling water to get the lines out from the fabric. But look at her, oh my gosh, and I started her, um, when did I start her? I started her October 21st of 2022. Yep, and finished her June 1st, 2024. I just, I love her. She's just freaking adorable. I love it. So, yeah, my big finish. And I didn't get the earache. For those of you that know me, that when I get near a big finish or something that's old to be finished, I get earaches. My ears get really hot to the touch. They hurt. And as soon as I get that last stitch in, it goes away. I didn't get that. I don't know why. It was really weird because I always get that sensation. But I didn't. Okay, what else did I work on this month? So let me find... So as you know, 
I work on Astrology Cat a lot. Now I just had, I don't want to turn this off, so hold on, we'll get it out. So Astrology Cat is the stitch along, it's a hay to stitch along, that's how much I have, look at the ear. Ah! Yes. I am loving this. I will show you the picture when I find it. So it will look like this when it's done. And that's how much I have. So, yeah. I still got a long ways to go. But it is getting there. Yes. So that's what I'm working on. I work on this all day Mondays and all day Tuesdays. So that's what I'm working on today and tomorrow. And I've gotten over 400 stitches already today. Right around 400 stitches already today. But yeah, I'm loving how that's turning out. And on Wednesdays during Zoom, I stitch on the Hey the Boo by Randall Spangler. So I stitch on that. Well, not just during the Zoom, but I put in at least, I want to put in at least 250 stitches on this a week. So once I get the 250 stitches in, then I switch to my stocking. And that's just Wednesdays. That's the only time I stitch on this. So that's what I have done so far. So you can see some of the branches and the leaves. This is 25 count. It's an even weave. My astrology cat is 28 count. This is 25. And I started Boo um, January 1st of 2013 is when I started this. Now, will I have a finish anytime soon? No. It's just Wednesdays of this year. Okay. Then the rest of Wednesdays and on Thursdays, I stitch on the Stockin' Treasure Dragon. It's a hay by Miles Pinkney. And this is still in the cue snap, so you won't see the whole thing, but that's how much I have done. So you can see the dragon's head. So that's how much I have done of that. And I started this um, January 1st of 2014. And this will be done this year. This will be done this year. So what's going to happen is when I get the last charts, last part of the charts for the Astrology Cat, I will be alternating between the Astrology Cat and the, this until the Astrology Cat is done, and then I will focus on this, because this, Justin wants this for Christmas this year. It might not be made into a stocking, but it's got to be done being stitched up. Now... Thursday night, if I go to the cross-stitch store for the stitch-in, I work on my mill hill. Because it's something small to take. And this Thursday is the stitch-in, so I plan on going. So this is Into the Wood. It's a mill hill, isn't that cute? It's done on black. Had that much of it done. I did make a working copy so I can mark the pattern 
never done that before, but I'm starting to do that now. But yeah, so that's how much I have done. I will pull it out this Thursday when I go to the cross stitch store. Then Rosie was every Friday and Saturday. So in its place, I will be stitching on Story Keep. Um, Butterflies Galore by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I have 1,995 stitches left. On this. So, yeah, this will be finished this month. So, two haids finished this month. Yeah. Isn't she pretty? I love it. And for the, um, let's see. So, May's stitch it. May's, um, I pick three designers and a theme every month. So May's was Mill Hill, which was Into the Wood, Story Stitches, and anything out of a magazine. So the magazine was the S's for Stitcher. Story Stitches, I worked one day and one day only in May on um, Part of Your World. So... I don't, I didn't make a cut, I didn't print up all of this done, but, um, I did stitch quite a bit of it, um, I did stitch quite a bit, because I only had a small start on it, and I don't remember what the fabric is, I do know it's, I believe, 28 count. So that's all that I stitched on that. And I'm okay with that. So this is a stitch along and that goes over here. Whoops, went in the wrong one. Okay, so now on to, I will tell you, the Astrology Cat for May, I put in 4,273 stitches, which isn't very good. Um, that's the lowest amount I've done in a month, so I need to make up for that. And, of course, um, Rosie was 4,785, and that was the most that I've done for Rosie, and now she's finished. And in the stocking in May, I put in 2,747 stitches. So it's not the lowest and it's not the highest that I've done. But I'll get there. For June, the designers are praiseworthy stitches. I thought I had something started from them, but I don't. So I don't have to worry about that one. Bella Filipina. Any Etsy purchase, anything that you've purchased off Etsy. And the theme is beach. So the Bella Filipina I will be stitching on in June is Greta Goldbroom. So that is Greta Goldbroom. I absolutely love her. And I'm doing it on a piece of opalescent fabric that I had. Let's see if I can find the top. So that's all I have on it right now because it was just a start for last year. And I don't think you can see the glittery and the opalescent, but yeah, it's there. It's glittery. It's so pretty. 
So yeah, I will be stitching on that a couple times this for June. And then the Etsy purchase is Stitch Rovia. And, and it's a beach one. So it's also the theme. So I am doing on the beach. I, I think I can get a lot done because there's a lot of color blocking. And I don't know if there's any back stitching. A tiny bit. Not much. I see this page. I don't see any back stitching. This page. There's. They're listening to headphones. So there's a little radio with the headphones and the wires for the headphones. And then sunglasses, a frame. So that's it. But it looks like that. Like I said, it's a lot of color blocking, so I should be able to get quite a bit done on this. And this is what I have on it so far, and it was just a start. Um, yeah. Just a start. And I think it's like that. So there is that. So I started in the center, which is right here. So yeah, I'm hoping to get quite a bit of this done. And since that's the center, let me see what page that's on. I don't know. Oh, okay. It's part of three, or no, one and two. Looks like it's part one and two. So I think what I'll do is I will finish up the person here. And then I will um, do page one. And if I can move on from that and do even more, that'll be even better. So that's what I will be stitching on. Uh-oh. I think that goes with Greta Goldblum. No, it doesn't. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. And this fabric here is a piece of 28 count even weave by Fortnite Fabrics. And there isn't a color on it. So I'm not sure what the color is. So, yeah, but, um, so June... I will be working on Stitch Rovia on the 16th, the 22nd, and the 30th. So three days worth of stitching will go on this. On the Bella Filipina, there is three days also. And the Hayde Butterflies Galore has three days. So, um, yeah. I have the whole month figured out, so my goal is to finish Butterflies Galore and maybe try this to finish this as close as possible. So what dates to remember this month? So this month, the Cross Stitch Weekend is the 21st, the 22nd, and the 23rd. So that's the Cross Stitch Weekend. My readathon weekend is is this weekend, the seventh, the eighth, and the ninth. I will not be cross stitching. I will not be in any zooms. I am just going to sit 
and read all weekend because I can read faster than text to speech. And I'm going to read all the arcs that I possibly can. So that's what is going on. And um, I will be doing a floss tube extra, so the camera will be down on my planner. And I will tell you more of what's going on for the month of June. So what do you guys have any goals? What do you plan on stitching? Do you think you'll have any finishes this month? Um, yeah, I'm really hoping. I know I can finish Butterflies Galore. I'm hoping I can get a lot of this done. And maybe if I get Butterflies Galore finished early enough that I can work on this the rest of that day that I finish it I will do that but it's like almost a thousand stitches a day so um yeah I don't think so but butterflies galore will be finished um Mill Hill is this Thursday and the 20th So there is that and like I said those were the designers of the month so any Etsy purchase so it's any designer that you bought off Etsy Bella Filipina and praiseworthy stitches and then the theme is beach so I am really looking forward to this month and seeing what I can get done and I will do a floss tube extra I know my floss tubes are always short I, I don't know how people sit there and hold their stuff up for like five ten minutes just talking about it that's not me I'm gonna show it to you I'm gonna tell you the fabric if I remember what the fabric is and and sometimes I don't even remember to tell you that I will try to put down in the description below everything that I worked on. Um, yeah. Finishes. I am not doing a mid year whip parade because I'm doing this every month. And I don't know if I'm getting all, I'm not getting all my whips this, this year. So I'm not showing them all and I'm, I might do something different for the end of the year whip parade as well. So that is it for today and um, I hope that you enjoyed this. If you are new, thank you for showing up. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and click that little bell so you're notified when I put up a new video. Um, yeah if you are a returning viewer thank you thank you thank you so much for coming back and um, I just just gonna stitch as much as I can tomorrow is stitching on astrology cat and listening to a book so since I'm going to be doing ARCs all week, I can't listen text-to-speech because Kindle, Amazon changed it so I can no longer do text-to-speech on an ARC. So what I will probably do is listen to a book either on Audible or Chirp because I have a lot of Audible books, a lot of audio books. So I might do that. Um... Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So that's it. I'm now going to turn this off and then we will do a floss tube extra, what my June goals are for the month of June and what I did in May, if I met any of my goals. I will see you guys next month. Y'all have a great stitchy month. Love you guys. Bye-bye.